Wicomico County has a population of just over 100,000 people with a median age of about 35. Wicomico County is also the 14th most populated county in Maryland, which means that you've got a pretty darn good chance of spotting a fugitive that law enforcement is looking for. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson with Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. It's good to be here again. Glad for you to join us. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, We've got some mugshots to take a look at, and you've got some captures, yes, too. We, we want to talk about captures. those. But I want to ask you about the Explorers program. Yes, the Explorers program is a really neat opportunity for high school-age kids um, between 14 and uh, 20 years of age to mm -hmm. get a taste of law enforcement and um, to be there. Almost, some people might refer to it almost like a cadet program. Right. And it's actually um, organized through the, uh, um, the Boy Scouts of America and... It's, um, it's a pretty neat thing. They get to go to festivals with us. Uh, they can do traffic control. Uh, they can learn some behind the scenes stuff of, of police. They can do ride alongs, learn stuff like uh, evidence processing. And what's um, the point? Why, why are you doing it? We're doing it, one, to give you know, something for the youth of our community to get involved in mm -hmm. and to uh, be, be belong to it and learn, and learn some of the, uh, the true things go on with law enforcement, get to know some of their area law enforcement officers. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's a great program. They can get on some volunteer and uh, community service hours too. And one thing I want to mention, we are having an open house uh, next Tuesday. Okay. Uh, next Tuesday, which the is the 16th. 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 Yes, the 16th on October 16th at the Sheriff's Office at 6 p.m. We are having an open house for uh, any prospective kids between 14 and 20 years old that would like to be explorers for the sheriff's office. So if you're interested, yes. you'll have some, some people to talk to. Yes, there'll be people to talk to that um, um, from the sheriff's office that are working with explorers, one of which is myself, a couple other deputies on our agency, plus some um, individuals from explorer units from other departments. Nice. Yes. That so sounds, pretty sounds pretty cool. So we're pretty excited about it. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. We'll not talk tomorrow. Next Tuesday. We'll talk about it again. Okay. We'll find out more. Okay. So we've got uh, three captures. Yes, we do. On the line today. First one, Robert E. Collins. Yes. Uh, we no longer are looking for Robert Collins. Uh, he was picked up and his warrant was served. Wayne Dean Davis had burglary and felony theft charges. Yes, Mr. Davis. Uh, he was directly apprehended as a result of tips. So people are calling in and letting us know his location, so that's one more off the books. And I think we looked at John Mark Jones a couple of times. Yes, Mr. Jones, he is also off the books. Um, we got him picked up just recently. All right. Okay, so you've got some, uh, you, got, you got a new list for us. I, oh, yeah, well, some of them are new. Right. Some of them are repeat. I got, we got one guy who managed to get himself put back on. I'll talk about that when we get to him. Again. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a perennial. He, he's has a problem with coming to court. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's take a look at him real quick. Uh, first one is Jordan Paul Adams. Yes, Mr. Adams, uh, we believe me, right here in the Salisbury area, we have a warrant for Mr. Adams that was issued in connection with CDS or drug distribution charges. Okay. So if anybody knows where Mr. Adams is, just call the crime solvers. James Lester Bowden the third. Yes, Mr. Bowden, um, we know a couple things about him. One, he is an Orioles fan and he also, <laughs> um, lives in the Princess Anne area that we are aware of, but we don't know where exactly he is right now. So if anybody knows where Mr. Bowden is, please uh, pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers, so we can get him brought in because uh, we have a drug uh, possession warrant for him. All right, Jerome James Bright, Jr. Jerome Bright, we believe in, we right here in Salisbury. Uh, we have a warrant that was issued um, with possession of CDS with the intent to distribute and resisting arrest. So if anyone knows where Jerome Bright is, all they gotta do is pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers, and tell them what his location is. All right, see if you recognize Tarika Lashan Chandler. Tarika Chandler, we have profiled her before. Uh, we have charges that were issued for her in connection with a theft case. We believe her to be right here in Salisbury, so if you know where Ms. Chandler is, uh, it's pretty easy, you just gotta pick up the phone and tell Crime Solvers where we can find her. Another lady on the list, Jenna Lynn Ennis. Jenna Ennis, uh, she is a repeat profile. We have profiled her before. Uh, we have an address for her in Marion, Maryland, down which is down Somerset County. For your viewers down there, we have a warrant that was issued for her in connection with theft charges. So if you know her location, is real simple. Just pick up the phone. And finally, Ralph Lee Pusey Sr. Yes, Mr. Pusey. He was the one I was alluding to at the beginning of the show that he gets. He, he has a he has a long track history of of getting charges and not coming to court. It's a cycle with him and he doesn't come to court and then we issue another warrant, we pick him up 
and he goes to court and he doesn't show up again. Mm -hmm. So if anybody knows where Mr. Pusey is, just pick up the phone, call us, and we'll get him picked up again, and we'll see what, we'll see if the so cycle that, continues. Take care. I'm running out of time here, so I want you to hit real quick the phone number and the money. 410-548-1776. You get yourself in the pipeline for a reward, paid by crime solvers, and get some cash in your pocket. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, Wycombe County Sheriff's Deputy, thank you so much. This is great. For coming in this afternoon.